Think for a moment. Right now, there are thousands of tiny microbes living on the tip of your finger. These microbes are too small to be seen with the naked eye. These microbes need a special device called microscope to be seen. So, microbiology is the study of microorganisms. In this video, we are going to talk about the world of microorganisms. When you hear the word germ, bacteria, virus, you might think of running for the nearest thing to wash your hands. However, some microbes can cause disease while others help fight it. It would be difficult to live without the aid of microbes. For example, colonies of microorganisms live inside your intestines. Just this thought is enough to make your skin crawl. This thought might be frightful, but these microorganisms actually assist your body in digesting foods. Microbes in your intestines are beneficial to you as long as they remain in your intestine. However, you will become very ill if they decide to wander into other parts of your body. Don't become too concerned. These microbes tend to stay at home unless your intestines are ruptured as a result of trauma. There are two types of microorganisms, the unfriendly ones and the friendly ones. The unfriendly microorganisms are called pathogens. The infiltration of a pathogenic microorganism can cause an infection. Some pathogenic microorganisms infect humans but not other animals and plants, while some pathogenic microorganisms that infect animals or plants also infect humans. Some of the examples of unfriendly microorganisms include Mycobacterium tuberculosis. This pathogen is the cause of the fatal disease tuberculosis. This disease typically attacks lungs but can also affect other parts of the body. Escherichia coli and Entamoeba histolytica. These are the pathogens responsible for causing diarrheal diseases. The friendly microorganisms are the members of the normal flora of our body. These microorganisms help to maintain homeostasis in our bodies. These are also used in the production of many foods and other commercial products. The examples of friendly microorganisms include the normal flora of our body which assist in the digestion of food. Now let's see what a microorganism is. Microorganisms are the subject of microbiology, which is the branch of science that studies microorganisms. A microorganism can be one cell or a cluster of cells that can be seen only by using a microscope. Microorganisms are organized into six fields of study, bacteriology, virology, mycology, Psychology, protozoology and parasitology. First, let's talk about bacteriology. Bacteriology is the study of bacteria. Bacteria are prokaryotic organisms. A prokaryotic organism is a one-celled organism that does not have a true nucleus. Many bacteria absorb nutrients from their environment and some make their own nutrients by photosynthesis or other synthetic processes. Some bacteria can move freely in their environment while others are stationary. Bacteria occupy space on land and can live in an aquatic environment and in decaying matter. They can even cause disease. Bacillus anthracis is a good example. It is the bacterium that causes anthrax. Anthrax is an acute disease. Most forms of this disease are lethal and it affects both humans and animals. Effective vaccines against anthrax are now available and some forms of this disease respond well to antibiotic treatment. Other examples of bacteria include Clostridium perferringens, Haemophilus influenzae, Escherichia coli, 
salmonella typhi etc some bacteria cause disease some perform important role in natural cycling of elements which contributes to soil fertility some are useful in industry for manufacture of valuable compounds some spoil food and some make food now let's talk about virology virology is the study of viruses a virus is a submicroscopic parasitic or cellular entity composed of a nucleic acid core surrounded by a protein coat parasitic or cellular means that a virus receives food and shelter from another organism and is not divided into cells viruses do not grow on artificial laboratory media An example of a virus is the varicella zoster virus which is the virus that causes chicken pox in children teens and young adults Viruses cause diseases in humans other animals and plants they also infect microorganisms Now let's move on to mycology Mycology is the study of fungi A fungus is a eukaryotic organism often microscopic that absorbs nutrients from its external environment Fungi are not photosynthetic A eukaryotic microorganism is a microorganism whose cells have a nucleus cytoplasm and organelles These include yeasts and some molds Tinea pedis better known as athlete's foot is caused by a fungus Tinea pedis also called athlete's foot is a common and contagious dermatophytic fungal infection of the skin that causes scaling flaking and itching to the affected areas fungi are used in the production of alcoholic beverages they are also used as food supplement some fungi cause disease molds are used in the industrial production of many chemicals including penicillin Now let's talk about the next category phycology. Phycology is the study of algae. Algae are eukaryotic photosynthetic organisms that transform light into nutrients using photosynthesis. A eukaryotic photosynthetic microorganism is a microorganism whose cells have a nucleus, nuclear envelope, cytoplasm and organelles and that is able to carry out photosynthesis. Consumption of contaminated shellfish causes neurotoxic shellfish poisoning. Algae are important to the production of food in aquatic environments. They are also used as food supplement and in pharmaceutical preparations. Some cause diseases of humans, animals and plants. The next category is protozoology. Protozoology is the study of protozoa animal like single cell microorganisms that can be found in aquatic environments many obtain their food by engulfing or ingesting smaller organisms protozoa are found in aquatic and terrestrial environments an example is amoeba proteus protozoa are used as food for aquatic animals some protozoa cause disease the last category is parasitology Parasitology is the study of parasites. A parasite is an organism that lives at the expense of another organism or host. Parasites that cause disease are called pathogens. Examples of parasites are bacteria, viruses, protozoa, and many animals such as worms, flatworms, and arthropods including insects. So we have looked upon the types of microorganisms and their characteristics in this video. We have also understood some microorganisms serve a wide range of functions which are beneficial for us and some of these can cause infectious diseases. If you like this video please subscribe and leave a comment for queries and suggestions.